How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lie Hobby Time. I was thinking about making a fifth building for my wild western town this week, but decided to do something with this leftover railroad track instead. I started by gluing these two planks of wood together to form the base. I used some wood glue and some bar clamps. These were out of the way enough that I was able to keep working on it while the glue was drying, so it was nice to save some time that way. As far as the layout goes, I knew I wanted to have the train coming out of a tunnel with a cliff face on the back of the diorama. I also needed to elevate the track just a little bit, so I carved out the shape of the track onto some corkboard. And then I carefully beveled the edges with my hobby knife. A few of the ties had little holes in them, so I drove some nails all the way through into the wood to hold the track in place, and then it was time to start building the cliff. The cliff is made of some pink 1 inch XPS insulation foam that I stacked in 5 layers, and for the bottom 3, I carved out the corner to create the tunnel. Once I was happy with the layout, I began gluing everything together. I also cut up some foam into smaller pieces to create some boulders and rocks that I glued to the base of the cliff. Then I got out my handheld hot wire, began carving some texture to create a rock face. There are a lot of great ways to create rock textures on foam. This is my current favorite, just because it's nice and easy, but it does create quite a few fumes, uh, which are not good to inhale. In fact, they're bad to inhale. So I always wear a respirator and have a window open for proper ventilation. Next I mix some plaster, mod podge, and paint to create a terrain paste to protect the foam from the spray paint and also fill unwanted gaps. I then applied some watered down glue to stick down various sizes of sand and ballast. I also sprayed on some isopropyl alcohol, and I'm not really sure what it does. I just see all the other craft channels do it, so I like to do it too. Just kidding, the isopropyl alcohol breaks down the surface tension of the glue, allowing it to flow better and not pool, which gives you much more even coverage. I left that to dry, and it was time to start making the train. The train is built around a printer receipt paper roll, and I also found this little piece of an X-Wing model which fit perfectly on the end of it. So cut up some sprues to add the first bits of detail to the side. For the larger wheels that go on this engine, I stole those from an M41 tank. I also stole some pieces from a rocket launcher truck, including the undercarriage and some smaller wheels that go at the front of this thing. I began assembling what I hoped to look like an 1800 steam-powered locomotive. In the wild imaginary west, there are people who use electricity, but the more prevalent power source is still steam. The railroads were built with steam engines in mind, and they do not intend on changing anytime soon. They actually do not like electricity or the idea of it, so there will definitely be conflict between the railroad and people who use electricity. I will flesh that out more as I develop this world further, but know that there is definitely conflict there. I then bent some brass rods to add some final details to the engine, and it was time to move on to the coal car. The coal car is just a box of balsa wood with some styrene detailing on the side, and I put some foam in the back, filled it up with some coal, I glued it down and I used more of that isopropyl alcohol because that's what all the cool kids do. After the train was done, I staged the layout real quick just to see what it would look like. And then I got everything ready for painting. I was looking for a particular character in a specific pose that I didn't have, so I had to do some customization and I came up with something close but not quite right. It did remind me though of something I heard about recently called Model Creator. This is not sponsored, it's just something I'm really excited about. Model Creator is going to be a platform where you can customize anatomically and historically accurate figures 
for dioramas. You'll be able to change the weapon loadout and the clothing and the poses. And at the beginning it'll just be military, but eventually they will have customization options for civilian as well as other time periods including the Wild West, which I am super excited about. In order to help this get off the ground faster, uh, there is a link below for their newsletter. So follow along for that. There will be a Kickstarter eventually as well. But if you are interested in this kind of a thing, please sign up for that. Link will be below. I initially gave the train a Zenithal highlight and realized it was just going to be painting it all black again. So I took it outside and I gave it another coat of a black primer and then I started adding some colors. I looked up some reference photos for steam engines from this era and there were a lot of them that were very flashy and gaudy with loud accent colors like red and gold and I thought that juxtaposed very nicely against everything I've done in the Wild West so far in terms of color palette. Everything I've done is kind of more natural, a lot of wood, very subdued, whereas this is big and loud and it stands out against the environment and it kind of reinforces that conflict that I talked about earlier uh, between the railroad and this new uh, technology. Then it was time to add some paint to the rocks. I was very inspired by the red rocks that we have here in Colorado. I love the color palette that the Rockies represent. And then I scraped away the paint from the railroad tracks to bring those back into visibility. To help speed up the drying process, I used that hair dryer that smacked me in the face a while ago. We've made amends since then. Then I dry brushed all of the rocks and the ground, and I added some black 3.0 to the edges of the diorama. I also added a little board to the back of the tunnel, and painted that with black 3.0. I'm really happy with how that looks. Then it was time to start putting everything onto the diorama. I then added some little tufts of dry grass, and the last thing to do was to add some smoke coming out of those smokestacks. I drill a little hole, so I gotta add a wire, which would help the smoke maintain its shape. After that was in place, I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great week. Thank you, as always, to all of my patrons. You guys are the best. Have an awesome week. I will see you next time. This is not the last train you will see in this universe.